Hi guys! Welcome back to our kitchen. I'm so excited to teach you guys another really cool experiment. So today is going to be experiment and you'll get to eat your product when it's done. This experiment takes about five to seven days. So don't forget to register on the Rock and Disabilities website or through the email. Okay, Aaliyah here is going to show you kind of what we need to make our own rock candy. Okay, so we're going to start over here. What do we need, Aaliyah? We need sugar. We need water. We need a funnel. A plate. Coffee. Filters. Filters. Good. And we need jars. Food coloring if you want. Clothes pins. Clothes pins. Measuring cups. Good. A spoon. Mm hmm. Sticks. Skewers. Yep. What else? A pan and something to stir. Good. Okay. So now Ali and I need to wash our hands to get ready. So let's go wash our so hands. So we won't have to put the germs in the food. Yep. No germs in food. Or should I? Okay. So come over, Leah. Let's wash our hands. Hi. Good. Okay. So first things first, Aaliyah, you're going to need to put the saucepan over on the oven. oven. Yeah, on the stove. So let's go take that. I'll take this out. Put the pan over here. Okay, we don't need to turn it on just yet. Just set it on there. Good job. I'll just make that spoon. Okay. Good. Now let's make some space. Okay? So first, Aaliyah, what we need to do is we need to label our jars. Can we come label our jars? Yes. Okay. So just label jar one, two, three, and four, and today's date. Do you want me, do you want me to take the tape off? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the date on whichever one we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then label it one, two, and three. Now we're going to label ours on which day that we started on so we can keep track of what day that we're watching. Okay, I'm going to take a marker. We're also going to label our jars one, two, and three. label all the jars on the day that we started our experiment. Why 
one more. Now what we need to do is we need to take the skewers and measure where they're going to be in the jar. Now you notice we have different sized jars. You can use cups, you can use anything that you want that's not gonna melt, so nothing plastic, you don't want anything to melt. So she's, we're gonna use four jars today. Now you wanna make sure, I'm gonna turn this jar around, you don't want it to go all the way down to the bottom because that's where you want the candy to start forming first. Okay, so we're going to put it up just a little bit. We're going to take a clothes pin. Good. Mark where you want it. Can you see? Good. So that it stays. Now you can also do this with string too. You don't have to use sticks. So what she's going to do next, or I'm going to show her first. You got it? Real stick. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's okay if it if it tilts a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna mark where we're gonna put the clothes pin. Okay. Can you do that with the other ones, Leah? Yes. Put it down just a little bit lower. Good, that's good. Okay, one more. I'll mark it in the book. Probably. Now what we want to do is we need to wet each stick and coat it with sugar so that the molecules of the sugar mixture that we're going to make will then uh, hold on to it. Okay, so we're going to prep for that right now. Let me get this out of your way. Okay, so get a plate out. Good. Okay, I'm going to pour a little bit of sugar in there. Dip it to the line. You want to hold it in there for 10 seconds. Go all the way down to the line. Well, it doesn't quite all the way go. That's fine. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now roll it in the sugar. Good. Nice. Good. John. Oh, okay, that's perfect. Then you can just leave it over here on the side. Should I put the pin there? Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Ta-da! Good job. Okay, next one. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And roll. It looks sometimes to me like snow. Kind of, huh? Yeah. But just snow is harder and, and colder. <laughs> and not and sure. wet. And wet. Good. You ready? Let's do the yeah. last two. <coughs> it's okay. It can be good. <coughs> And the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Make sure it's a full 10 cups. water and since I'm just going to use two because I know two plus two is four. You're going to use two what? Two cups. Good job. Okay. So pour it in. Just go to the sink and some Put it level. Like put it on something. There you go. Just need to good. I might need a little bit of tiny more. How many cups is that? This is two cups, and, and that makes four. Good. Two plus two is four. Good job. And there. 
Good. Okay. Now we need to put it on the fire. Can you carry it over or do you need help? Uh, I think I can carry it. Let me see. Yeah, I can carry it. Okay. Here. And here. Good. Now, how do we turn on the fire for this stove? You want to ask parental uh, help for this? Yes. But Aaliyah has been trained, and I'm allowing her to do this because I'm right here. Wait, so do I do this one or this one? That one. This one? Mm-hmm. So okay. to light, right? Yep. Push in. Okay. In and to light. Keep going. Good. Now turn it over onto number six. Number six. There you go. Right here. Good. Okay. So now we want to stir our mixture until all the sugar has dissolved. That means that no more sugar is there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have to hold the handle to help you stir. Good job. Be careful. I'm just going to do it like this one because I have like a half so I'm not really Switch out first. Bake. Bring it closer to you. This chair is going to fall. Okay, put that jar. Bless you. Oops. Pull all the way off. There you Good. 
Good. Okay. okay. Now pick up what colors you want to add in there. What color? I can pick whichever. Yeah. Do I take this out? Or do I keep this? Out? You can take it out. I'm gonna do two neon and two of the colors. Let's see, where do I open this? So the two neon ones, I'm gonna use purple and and blue. And for the others. So now you want to add four drops to each container. Okay. okay. So let me drop this one over here. This one. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Good. Okay, let's stir it up. jars up we've added our color we made them all relatively even according to their jar now Aaliyah is going to put in each stick that we have already pre um, seasoned with the water and sugar mixture and so she has it already pre-marked where they're going to go in the jar so go ahead and put them in I'm going to space them out a little bit for you. Now, I don't know if you can see a little bit, but it's starting to kind of bubble. See, it's starting to kind of bubble a little bit, and that's kind of what you want because you want the mixture to um, start to form crystals. And the best way to do that is to have your stick already pre-ready to go. So I'm going to check them all here and make sure they're all good, okay? Now, you want to put your mixtures in a safe place away from anything that could contaminate it. Dust, uh, if a little fly gets in the house, anything like that. So we're going to cover it. You don't want to cover it with foil. You want something breathable. So we're going to use coffee filters. You can also use saran wrap, clear plastic wrap, okay? So I'm going to take a coffee filter. I'm going to turn it upside down, poke a little hole in it, and just let it slide down. Until that you yep. see that. So this will keep it safe. Can you help? Pull, yeah, hold the stick. Poke. <laughs> okay, you want me to help you? Yes, please. Okay. I'll try another one. So you hold this stick and you just push it through. It's a little tough. You got it. Good <laughs> job. Okay, that scared me. It's okay. Can one more. Yeah, one? one more. Let me get it out. Maybe. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, remember, hold the stick. Good job. Okay, that one went carefully. That's okay. So this is to ensure that nothing will get into your mixture. So you that, want so that way it can be nice and good, and don't want it to be nasty. Yeah, you don't want to get dust in it, any dirt that should come up. Um, High Desert has a lot of dirt. 
So um, we want to make sure that our mixture stays nice and clean and then we can watch it every day. So tomorrow we're going to check in and see how our mixture is doing. So we'll see you. We'll see you soon.